In this video, we are going to be checking out how Minecraft runs on the M3 Pro. And this was on request on some subreddit, on the MacBook Pro subreddit. So we got the doggo next to me ready to watch it. Get yourself a comfy pillow like the dog has here. Oh, there he goes, ready to watch. And we got some dotes on on Twitch. And of course, this is a perspective of me testing out this MacBook. Irrelevant data for you. But anyways, let's take a look at what this means. So you download the Lunar Client and 1.20 is the only way to get Sodium running mod. Um, when I first tested this and was responding to some of the subreddit comments, um, I was using 1.18, which only runs on Optifine. So compared to the shaders I was testing, I believe from my perspective and some quick tests and probably more Minecraft fanatic people would know, the Sodium render does give you quite a performance boost and then the lunar client is the native version of uh, minecraft running on the m3 pro which is the arm version so booting up the game showcasing and of course recorded with quicktime record which i believe uses the hardware um, and has minimal impact 1.20 loads up and you can see the frames per second and this is the complementary shader that was the first loader so pressing FN F3 brings up this more detailed menu and you can see it's using Sodium Renderer and also of note the 1.20 version when you have the screen like I do, which is double clicking the window and takes up the full screen, runs at retina resolution. So this was at 3000 by nine, uh, like 1900. So going in, showing some of the shader pack list, um, this is typically how the video will play out. Uh, I don't plan to do too much commentary but just know that um, I do showcase later in the video how to install the shaders. I'm actually going to edit this video and just showcase it now, but it basically involves downloading it, navigating to the appropriate folder, and dragging and dropping those files into the Minecraft shader folder, which is how it appears. But I will say that at full screen on this uh, shader pack runs at 50 frames per second. I think it looks pretty good, um, but compared to what I saw from later in this video, you'll see the, I believe it's pronounced Silders, it just also renders at 50 frames per second, and I just think that that other shader pack looks better. So I typically play on that, and I test out high to extreme in this video. So the only call out here is once you hit escape and double clicking the menu, it goes back to what the default resolution is. And like I mentioned, this is retina rendering. So um, here you can see that the display is at 1700 by 1860. So um, essentially half retina. And then the FPS bumps up to 110 frames per second. That's a common theme you'll see in this video as I go through all the shader packs and kind of a walkthrough of the different options.
I'll leave a link below of uh, this download link, but essentially you just click and download all of the shader packs. And once you have them all downloaded, then you drag and drop them into, uh, uh, <laughs> I will also leave a link or the folder path. And to get this hidden folder path, you have to hit command shift and the period button to show hidden, um, hidden folders. So yeah, here it's just dragging and dropping into the shader packs, Minecraft and application support. Then once you do that, the new shaders that you just downloaded will appear. And in the rest of the video, I test out high to extreme. Um, I believe I got the volumetric settings turned on and eventually I turned on motion blur, um, which I think had minimal impact of about 10 frames per second. But typically I would say if you are thinking about getting this M3 Pro, the most extreme setting with volumetric lighting allows for over 60 FPS gameplay in the windowed mode at this resolution. And then if you double click it, I've typically gotten 30, here you see like 42 frames per second. So that's uh, about what you would get um, if maybe if you have a 4K monitor or something to that effect. All right, enjoy the rest of this Minecraft video.